Hey guys, it's Amy from Paper Crane Wishes, and today I wanted to show you how I just had some fun experimenting with resin, and I used um, a clear base resin, and I'm not an expert in making resin, but I think this is a fun little craft to kind of show you guys. Um, resin's not exactly the easiest to work with. You have to make sure that you have equal parts on a one-to-one -one ratio um, and also that it's stirred fully. So it takes some time, I think, to get to that level. But I used the Color Pour brand to work on my resin projects. Um, I just got latex gloves. Usually I don't just buy, you know, like the Color Pour brand latex gloves. I'll buy regular ones usually. But they were super cheap with a coupon at Joann's. It was like two bucks and I'll have the link in my description um, of where you can get the rubber gloves because they were super cheap considering but should be able to find them and then also a face mask this is for the fumes that come out when you're doing resin work I would highly recommend wearing a face mask I would wear um, they shouldn't be too hard to come across these days uh, the fun thing about this project is I got all of the cool color pour accessories so I got the color pour silicone um, molds. I got the glitter uh, collections, which I enjoy. They're, you know, it's they're pricey, but with coupons, you can you can really save money on them. And it's not like you can find these everywhere. Some of these are shell, which is pretty cool, a shell. Um, and some of these are just these amazing crushed glitters. Anyway, I could look at glitters all day long. I totally want to start a glitter company off subject here's the color pour resin and resin hardener this retailed at $19.99 at joann's crafts and fabrics but with a coupon of 60 percent off on i think it was 31st of may i was able to get it for what nine bucks something like that so i got my resin and i just kind of found little cute trinkets glitter little paper cranes like i said this isn't necessarily a tutorial about how to make something specific this was just me experimenting with resin and kind of letting you guys know the things that i know about resin if you have any tips and tricks i would love to hear it please leave the comments down in the description but one of the most important things about resin is you want to pour on a one-to-one -one ratio so you want to pour equal amounts and ideally at the same time you also probably want to use objects that you're just going to want to throw away so i have these two little shot uh solo cups that work perfect for measuring them out and i get a ton of these whenever i'm working with resin and also an empty jar and i have a chopstick so that when i'm done i can just kind of throw it away and i don't have to resin just sticks on everything whenever i work with resin i immediately just throw everything i worked on with it out because it's just too difficult. As you can see here, when you're twirling, you want to make sure, I heard in a figure eight, helps to not have air bubbles. Um, you also want to wait till it's warm on the side, sort of. And then once you get to a good consistency and you're ready to go, you can get started. And you can pour your resin slowly. I slowly kind of went in and put some different colors and different textures. It's been a long time and I'm really not an expert resin person at all. This is totally me just trying to figure out resin. I love resin. I want to get so much better at it. I just want to create these beautiful clear casted resin. I just love the way it looks, but it's really hard for me to nail. So um, here I am filling it up with some different glitters. One thing I didn't take into consideration when I made this, that all of the glitter would actually pour down to the bottom with all of the resin at the same consistency. So, i.e., in other words, I would have to wait for each resin layer to dry in order to create that layered look that I tried to go for here. So it's just a longer process when you're making something that's a little bit more layered. But, I popped it out and I mean, I made something. <laughs> uh, so here's what I got. I really loved how it showed up like close up like this. It made me really want to make jewelry with it. Um, obviously there's 
a couple things that I still have to nail down with making resin casts, but this is the first huge resin cast I've ever made. So considering it came out with that pretty little um, design on top, I felt pretty happy with it. And I'm gonna go jump in here onto my Instagram just because I want you guys to see what it is. It's Paper Crane Wishes, go ahead and follow me. And I also wanted to jump in here and show you guys some other resin projects I've done in the past with tumblers, um, with jewelry. This is some of those tumblers I made. You can all, also get cup turners to help with that kind of stuff. So I have a cup turner that I use to make my resin glitter tumblers. And just in general, kind of trying different things with resin. Like I said, it's not the easiest uh, craft project to master. In fact, I think it's one of the harder ones. Um, so, you know, yeah, sign up for my Instagram, follow me there. Here's the example of a resin bracelet I made. You can also probably see the link at the end of this video to take you to the next resin projects that I've worked on. Um, all right, guys, so that's all I got. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, hit the notification bell. I go live with live chats every time I premiere videos. So trying to kind of create that community here. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.